Hi everybody, this is Catherine, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in the new Age of Empire 3 Definitive Edition. Uh, the game is running in the new engine that Microsoft developed. I'm pretty sure it's the same than Age of Empire 1 and 2, the definitive version. And uh, I said that you can't struggle to run this game for now. I'm not sure if they're going to patch it to optimize it. But uh, yeah, I'm struggling it to r run this game on my uh, laptop. So I will show you what kind of optimization that you can do. The first one, it's the game mode. Please remove this from your computer. Put your game mode at, at off, really important. Uh, it's causing stuttering, like losing FPS also in a lot of game, not just like Age of Empire. Xbox game bar, make sure that it's at off and make sure that uh, the background recording and the recorded audio is at off. Also, make sure that you're not using any overlay like the Discord overlay, Nvidia overlay, like the GeForce Experience one. Don't use those kind of stuff. Uh, you will lose FPS and you will uh, probably get some stuttering if you have like an entry level computer. Uh, what can I say also? Uh, the GPU here, like you can write GPU in your search and you will have the graphics setting option called the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. To have that, make sure that you have the latest version of Windows, so Windows 10 version 2004, and also make sure that you have the latest driver for your video card. Really important, click here on, and you will need to restart your computer after you did that. Uh, you will see an improvement if you have like an entry level computer or maybe like mid range, but if you have a high end computer, you will not see a difference. I have a, a dedicated video who uh, I'm doing like some testing over there and I'm showing like the result of it. Well, one more thing, it's pretty much the driver. Make sure that you have your latest driver for NVIDIA and AMD. And even Intel, if you have an integrated GPU that's coming with your CPU, uh, make sure that you're going on the Intel website and update the driver. Don't just use the update driver from Microsoft, from Windows. So really go like on the uh, on their website. Uh, so that's about it. Now we will go inside of the game. I will show you what parameter that you need to optimize. And after that, we will go in the config file because you have more options that you can change in the config file. So let's open Age of Empire 3. So now in the game, click option. And this is pretty much where uh, all your parameters are. Uh, for the window mode over there, make sure that you're playing full screen. Make sure that your resolution match with your uh, monitor, that you don't have some weird resolution over there. Super sampling, you can't downscale this game, so you just can't like upscale, so make sure that you're at 100%. So first of all, particle quality, if you have a low-end CPU, it will help you a lot. It helped me a lot on my laptop, so go with low. If you have like a mid-range, like i5, i7, stuff like that, you can easily play at normal. You will not see a difference in your FPS. Tracer effect, dynamic light cloud, just uncheck those, you will get a 7% boost over there. Bloom effect, uncheck this also, uh, another 2%. And uh, MBL inclusion, this one, uncheck it, you will get another 3% in your FPS. After that, the first thing that you should do, it's definitely the shadow. Put the, the shadow at off. You don't really need shadows in those, those type of game. And it will give you a lot of FPS. I'm getting 12% boost. So honestly, a lot of people just like remove the shadow, look at your game, and if, you, if it's fine with the, uh, the FPS, just like remove your shadow and you, you will be fine. After that, you can go to foliage. Foliage will give you a nice boost. So if, if I compare high to low, you can get 6% over there. Shader, I'm getting 2% boost. Um, high versus medium, medium versus low. I didn't see any improvement, so that's why I'm at medium. Water, high versus low, you, you will get 3%. And finally, the texture. If you have 3 gig of RAM and more, go with high. 2 gig medium. Less than 2 gig, go with low. So that's about it for uh, the graphic parameter inside of the game. Now we will go in the config file. So now the config file, uh, to see where your uh, config file is, you have to go in your C drive, user, the name of your computer, games, Age of Empire 3 Definitive Edition, and common. You will have a file called graphical profile, right click on it, you can open it if you want with Notepad++, and you will have pretty much all the parameter that you already changed in your game, plus more. So the first one you, that you really need to change is the uh, environment effect over there, Put false. Enable shadow. Make sure also it's at false. I'm not sure why it's still at true when you put off inside of the game. So just want to make sure over there. And water reflection. Put this one at false. So that's pretty much it. You can change other stuff if you want, like the uh, eye cliff uh, polygon, uh, cliff uh, shader also. But 
uh, I didn't see any improvement when I put those one at false. So just do maybe uh, some testing if you can see the difference. And also you have the eye model one that you can change over there. But honestly, just change those three. On you should like definitely run this game at 60 at this point. Uh, this is pretty much last resort if you. Uh, change everything in the game and you're still like lagging like crazy uh definitely test this so after that save click x make sure that you block the file because probably when you will open the game you don't have those options inside of the game so they will probably override your uh, file so right click on it go to properties make sure that you put the file in read only click apply click ok and uh, you should be fine, honestly. Uh, it will lock your your uh, your file, and the game will not override your parameter. So that's about it, guys. If you have any questions, just come in in the YouTube section, post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.